Hello everyone, today we're going to be doing a bit of a different video. We are going to be doing a pick a card on my windowsill because I want to <laughs> and I'm just going to do this as a little kind of tester to see if you guys like this sort of style and I'm just going to be trying out some new things on my channel so if you don't like this please let me know in the comments. If you do like it please let me know but I won't be doing this all the time, I just want to do something a little bit different just to spice things up a little bit, okay? So we're gonna try it. Hopefully there won't be too much background noise from any roads or anything, but I really love this little setup. I think it's so cute. So this is gonna be a weekly tarot. So this is gonna be the weekly messages for this week. So we have group number one, group two, and group three. I'm also gonna be putting some crystal cards onto each pile so you can choose by a crystal, but here is the groups. All the time starts to be down below. And let's put some crystal cards on now. Okay, so we have three crystals here. We have Amazonite, we have Jade, and we also have Tiger's Eye. So please choose your group. We have group number one, two, and three, and let's get started. Let's see what you're going through this week. So starting off with group number one. Hello, group number one. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what you're going through in the week. So you guys chose Amazonite. This says loosen your grip. So I feel like for you guys, you're learning too well. As the card says, loosen your grip. I feel like you're learning to really let go of the control, the kind of the need to know what everything is, what everything is going on, like what's going on, what's happening in the world and things like that. You're really learning to just really loosen your grip on the energy, okay? So I'm gonna take that card away. I'm gonna put this over here. All right, so let's see what uh, main message you got for this week. We have Flamingo. Unity Heart, you are being called to work on collective healing. I really, really love this. This is so cute. So I feel like with flamingos, I feel like they are, well, for one, they're really freaking cute. <laughs> and for two, they are always standing on one leg. So I feel like for you guys, you are learning, it's almost like you're learning to do something new. You're being called on to possibly start your healing work that you've always wanted to start. You've always wanted to maybe uh, do some healing work or do some sort of work that involves healing, maybe some Reiki, maybe some sort of craniosacral therapy or something like that. I feel like this week you're really learning to um, work with the collective as well. So if there's anything that you want to do collectively, whether it's group work, whether it's kind of just working with the elementals, like just being in water, being in nature, you know, I feel like this week is going to be quite chill for you guys. And normally I feel like this card is quite a chill card. I feel like it's not really anything super, super major that's going on that's really going to stress you out. So I feel like this is a really, really nice energy to work with. And I really, really like it. So that's really beautiful. And the pink is also is also reminding me of the Amazonite of what we got. And uh, this is also to do with the heart chakra. So you guys are really working on your heart chakra this week. And I feel like Amazonite's a really, really good crystal for you guys. So I highly recommend that for heart chakra opening and really kind of getting you grounded into the earth and really connecting you to nature. Okay, so that's your first card. That's beautiful. I'm gonna put him underneath there. All right, so let's have a look at your tarot then. We have the world, we have the artist, and we also have the knight of pentacles. I love this. So this is really, really beautiful. So the world is showing me, you guys are really starting something new this week. This is gonna be actually quite a major week in terms of things shifting for you, but it's not gonna be like emotionally draining. It feels very, very authentic, very authentic energy. So we have the world here, which is showing me that you guys are really coming into your own. You are starting something brand new and you're not really listening to anyone's opinions or views or anything like that. And you'll really learn to be more creative and expand. And the Knight of Pentacles is showing me that you could be starting something to do with work. This could also be showing me that you are drawing in somebody who is really wanting to work with you on something to do with work or something like that, something work related, I feel for you guys. Um, the artist is also showing me is definitely something creative you guys are working on and I feel like this is just a really really good energy that's going to pick up. I feel like you might be starting something collectively and creatively new which I feel like is going to come in for you guys and feel really really good. I feel like for those of you who like Disney I feel like you're going to be watching a lot of Disney films this week as well. I feel like Disney's like really specific here um, but I feel like there's definitely somebody coming in or somebody around you who's also an earth sign most likely a masculine or a male so a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn and I feel like there's just this really gorgeous energy of like working together with somebody. I feel like you're really working and collaborating which is why I feel like we have this collective energy here that's really just beautiful. It feels like very 
kind of smooth, smooth sailing. And it just feels like you're really going to find someone who really um, appreciates you and who really kind of creates this gorgeous energy in your life. And you're definitely finding something about yourself which you probably never knew about. And it could be something emotional. But I feel like it's also artistically. I feel like you guys are getting very creative this week. And you might be really soul searching for what it is that you want to do in life and your life purpose. But it's definitely you're finding something new out this week. And I feel like it's it's going to really, really serve you. OK, so let's get you another card. Let's see in astrology what's going on here. Let's see. OK, so we have the fourth house of the house, which is a fourth house is the house. So this is to do with stability. This is kind of coming home to who you are coming home to yourself, coming home to your body. So you guys are probably really working on your body right now. You're probably really working on connecting to your body and really working on like connecting to better and brighter foods that really just enrich your body more. You're probably working on, um, it just feels like something to do with your body. So you could be getting a tattoo, you could be getting piercings, you could be um, buying new clothes, all that jazz. Okay, let's see what else we have. Okay, so we also have Taurus here and we also have the sun. So you might be meeting a Taurus sun. You could be a Taurus sun. This feels like a father figure as well or just a male who's going to be a really beautiful addition to your life. This could even be like a romantic potential. That This feels like very romantic and it feels very earthy and warm and loving and just really, really nice. I love this. It feels, it feels like somebody's really nurturing you and I feel like you're really working on your Mars energy this week. So whatever your Mars is in, especially if your Mars is in an Earth sign, especially if it's in Mars Taurus or something, it feels like you're really igniting your flame. You could even be moving in with somebody if you are already with someone. I feel like you could be moving in with them. Or you could even be kind of getting a, a lodger or like a somebody living in your house that maybe you're not like have a relationship to or anything like that. Okay, so let's pull you uh, one more animal card. Let's see what else wants to come through. Oh. That fell on the floor. Okay, so we have balance. Okay, so you guys are coming into major balance. You're coming into like just working with yourself and not really judging yourself. I feel like you're really working on that emotional part of you that really needs to kind of be looked after, I feel. Just really, really beautiful energy, okay? So thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you like this setup. It won't be a permanent thing. This will be something that I'll do if I kind of feel like doing the setup but if you like it please let me know and I'll speak to you soon bye hello group two thank you so much for being here let's get started with your reading so we have Jade be the bigger person so this is really interesting because I don't normally get this card and this card is quite a rare one so I feel like for you guys this might be something that's really changed you this situation maybe re have really changed you it could be something has really affected your energy and it's really caused some sort of gigantic transformation within your heart chakra I do feel like you could be dealing with someone toxic in your life and you're learning to just be the bigger person and kind of walk away. And Jade is really, really good for the heart shock. So this person could have really affected your heart. It doesn't have to be a certain person though. It could just be that you are being the bigger person towards your own ego. And that could be like part of you is like, no, you're never gonna accomplish anything. You're never gonna get anywhere. Nothing's ever gonna manifest. And you'll really learn to be the bigger person and be the more mature energy within this kind of area here. And just really kind of connect with what is it your you value and what do you really want to accomplish in this life and really just not being so hard on yourself because I feel like you guys are really hard on yourselves and I feel like you have had to be the mature person a lot of the time and the universe is saying look being the mature person isn't a bad thing I know it's probably taking a lot out of you right now but it's your life path to be in this situation right now and I feel like that getting through this will make you really, really strong. And you guys are strong anyway, but I feel like your heart chakra is really opening. And it feels like just this almost feels like a doorway to me in some way. It feels like some really dark energy you're really pulling out, especially like shadow energy. So not so, not so much of a heavy week. I feel like it can be quite a heavy week. But if you guys are kind of going through some things really work on your heart chakra this week it will help to kind of loosen things up and kind of you're able to kind of move things around more okay so let's have a look at your animal cards first and then we'll have a look at the tarot so we have trust approach the situation with a light heart dear trust and we also have antelope so we have two energies here that are pretty much very similar animals 
and both of them can be quite scared in the wild like they're the ones that are preyed on by like bigger animals like lions and things like that so for you guys we also have new pathways consider whether you are happy on your current path so you guys are really learning to really step into your energy and really figure out what feels right for you what what suits you what feels what feels comfortable to you and what feels like you can really be in your own energy here and it just feels like you guys are really kind of going through it i feel like the trusting is really kind of uncomfortable for you you're really learning to just trust the situation because i feel like this is really shaking your energy so this could have always this could have already happened this could be kind of happening in the next couple of days but i feel like you'll know what this is or who this person is i don't feel like it'll be like a massive shock but whatever this is, it's bringing you to a new pathway. So this is kind of saying you're at this crossroads. What are you going to do about it? Like what's going to, what are you going to do to kind of get to this energy? And what's going to, what's going to fuel you? What's going to get you to where you need to go sort of thing? And I feel like this is just very, this is just a really interesting energy. It feels quite uncomfortable, but it feels like you guys are going to get through it. And you guys are on a new path. Like you're going on a new path. So really learn to kind of roll with whatever comes around. And I feel like for you guys, the mountains and things like that are very important this week. So it kind of, it kind of reminds me of like the song from um, Miley Cyrus, The, the uh, Climb. I really like that song. And also there's a couple of other songs as well that I really like. But I feel like you guys are really kind of learning to work with this energy and kind of roll with whatever is kind of happening for you guys and just just really learning to step into your own power and to just be like no i'm not going to deal with this this is and it's just kind of it's meant to happen guys it's meant to happen okay but it feels like for some of you guys this could be even be a job situation that you feel very uncomfortable in and you'll really learn to have trust and trust that if you feel like you need to let go of this now and move on, just friggin' do it because the universe is pushing you. Like things happen so we can be pushed because I saw this quote and it's basically like something like from the universe. If you, something like if, if we didn't do this, you would never have moved essentially. So it's kind of like these things happen. It's not comfortable, but these things do happen for a reason. Okay. And it's a beautiful reason. It's a good thing. <laughs> Okay, so we have the Three of Swords, we have the Page of Swords, and we also have the Devil. Okay, so this is quite an intense energy. This feels kind of destructive. This feels like a lot of things that are being destroyed around this energy. So the Three of Swords here is showing me there's some really big energy that's being shifted, okay? You are really trying to lift up a lot of people, so really just rely on yourself and don't worry about what other people are doing, because there's, there's part of you that really tries to control situations by being that motherly or fatherly energy just try and just be in your own energy this week because i feel like you guys are really letting go of something that really hurt you and you're learning to speak up and you're being your truth as well this is a really big step for you guys i feel like you're really working on something really heavy and deep but it doesn't feel like anything bad like this is all meant to happen this is all meant to be here i don't feel like anything is out of place i feel like this is all meant to happen and the devil is showing me that there's some massive shifts going on, massive, massive changes for you guys. I love the devil card in this deck. I feel like he's he's very empowered. And I feel like this part here is showing me that out of the kind of depths of the sadness and the confusion, you're really working on just being that wholehearted energy, that kind of mediator energy where it's kind of like, I'm not going to be too much in this. I'm going to be kind of in the middle and I'm just going to work with what I can. But also I feel like this is bringing you to your happiness. I feel like this is bringing you to your inner child and you're learning to just really work with your inner child in the most beautiful way. Like you're not judging your inner child. You're not saying, no, this is not right. You're saying like, look, this is what I need to learn and that's okay. You know, like the inner the inner child, I feel like is, is, is non-judgmental. It's, it's getting you to lighten up basically like getting the heavy stuff out of the way so you can be in this really light energy so you can feel really really good about yourself and you can really come out of this situation and express yourself fully so you can just be free and so you can just be yourself i really feel that is coming through for you guys this three of swords though such a beautiful card in this deck i feel like this is coming out as a really beautiful card because it's kind of like out of this stress it is a beautiful process as well like sometimes i mean i'm a scorpio so i can't really talk so <laughs> transformation is like my middle name but i feel like for you guys <clears throat> you're really working on looking at your heart and looking at what's actually going on in this situation and not ignoring it like really trying not to ignore it okay 
So let's have a look at the astrology and let's see what's coming in for you guys this week in your astrology. Okay, so you have the sixth house of service and you also have Mars. I love that. That is so good. Okay, that's you coming into your power and also using the service energy for like your for your best benefit. It's kind of like you care a lot, like put that energy into yourself as well. Put that, really put that energy into yourself. Like how is this serving you? And also with the Mars energy, this is showing me that this is you really just coming into your power, really coming into acknowledging who you are and also knowing that you care and that is important not to bash that or hurt yourself for that and being like, oh, I care too much or I'm too emotional. It's like, no, just be yourself. And I feel like this this week, I feel like is a really big pathway for you, really stepping into your power and not letting people tell you otherwise. And also just not listening to anyone who is really not on your side, okay? Because those people are not worth it. We also have Pluto. Pluto is a really big planet of change and Pluto does not, Pluto really goes by the rules. So this is basically saying, look, you're going through this for a reason. It's gonna be okay. Everything is working out for your own good and it's gonna, it's, it's meant to happen, okay guys? So it's really coming in so you can really kind of come into your own energy and feel like you are really working on just everything is is here to serve you, okay? Everything is here to to nourish you. And sometimes it kind of reminds me of when you have like a family member, like a mother or a father, and they kind of, when you're a child, they tell you often you feel really sad, but sometimes it's worth it so you can learn whatever that is, that thing is you need to learn. Obviously when it's kind of, you know, a responsible kind of situation, I feel like it's kind of like that. The universe is teaching you it's, it's okay and, this does feel a little bit uncomfortable, but it, it does feel like a birthing process. So I know this isn't the lightest of energies, but it doesn't mean it's a bad thing. Okay, so I'm going to pull you one more card. Let's get you an animal card. Okay, beautiful. Be open through this transitional time. I mean, that is literally you guys. <laughs> That's literally what I'm picking up on. That is absolutely beautiful. So really just flowing with this energy. And otters are so cute. They're so delicate. They're so loving. And the little squeaky sounds are so cute. So I feel like for you guys, you're really just learning to be in this transitional energy and just to work for it. Just flow, 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 flow. Okay. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you like this little setup. This won't be obviously a permanent thing probably all the time. But if you guys like it, let me know. If you don't, that's totally fine. Let me know as well. Give me some constructive criticism and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number three. Thank you so much for being here. We have the gorgeous tiger's eye here. I love tiger's eye. So tiger's eye says overcome your fears. So that's going to be the crystal for you guys today. I'm going to put him underneath here, underneath the crystal. So this is really, really beautiful. So first of all, what I want to say for you guys is you're really working on your solar plexus and your sacral chakra. Solar plexus is like the main one. So I feel like for you guys, you're really overcoming your fears. You're really bringing out whatever it is that needs to be drawn out. It's kind of like, this is a really pivotal time for us. I really feel it's, and especially for you guys, it's kind of like, what is it that you feel like you can't do? What would you do if you weren't afraid? What would you do if you weren't scared? Okay, so beautiful. All right, we have intuition. Listen to your soul's truths. Think less, feel more. I love this. This is really, really beautiful. So this energy here is showing me that your intuition is really, really being kind of hit upon right now. You're really learning to work with your intuition instead of ignoring it. And there's part of you that really knows what's right for you. You know, you know what's right for you. Sometimes it just takes like a reading or a friend or a family member to just affirm you are correct, <laughs> okay? And if there's something that you're really not happy with, please open your mouth and say it to that person, obviously kindly and nicely, because I feel like there's a part of you that just really needs to be expressed. And I feel like the starfish is such an open energy, like obviously the starfish is always open, like in terms of its shape and its kind of form. So I feel like for you guys, this this has been not being afraid of your intuition, not being afraid to trust in whatever is happening and knowing that this is a really good pathway, this is the best thing for you, and this is a really good time for you to really express yourself and be in this open energy, okay? So let's have a look and see what else we have. So we have the Knight of Swords, the Ten of Wands, and the Moon. 
So this is really, really beautiful. So the Knight of Swords here is showing me that you guys are really purging through a lot of emotional things to do with your throat chakra. And it could be speaking your truth to a male figure, specifically an Aquarius, uh, Libra or Gemini. But you guys are really learning to be in your own energy. You could have quite a strong moon sign. You could have Cancer moon. You could have Aquarius moon. You could have Pisces moon. I mean, all the, all the moon signs are strong, but those are a lot mainly a lot of the kind of more intuitive ones especially Scorpio as well um the ten of wands here is showing me that you guys have been through a hell of a lot in this journey you've been through a hell of a lot and this week you're going to be really much in your intuition you're going to get a lot of downloads you're going to get a lot of intuition that's really going to fuel you to where you need to go you're probably going to get some sort of epiphany that's going to bring you towards where you're going okay and the moon is showing me that you're being taken care of. The universe is taking care of you and it loves you and it's not going to do you any harm, okay? This is this is for your good right now. And the Ten of Wands is showing me that you've been for enough. It's time to let go of all that. Because this Ten of Wands, the next one is the full, the one, the number one. So I feel like for you guys, you are really learning to be in this energy and just really work through it. But this is very short. I feel like this is very short, this energy. So this is kind of like you've been through so much. I think you're really going to let go and start to see more abundance and more manifestations coming in, okay? There's definitely more emotions you're connecting to as well. You're really learning to connect with those emotions and you're going fast. Like things are sh shifting for you like physically. So I feel like you're really going to learn to attract a lot of physical energy and you're going to bring in a lot of manifestations that you probably would never have thought you were going to have. So let's see what sort of specific manifestations we have and what sort of astrology wants to come through this week. All right. We have the lunar eclipse and we have partners. Beautiful. I knew it was going to be about romance. I really knew it was going to be about romance because this feels very big. This feels like you guys are really learning to shed a lot of your old wounds like your old wounds are just no more like goodbye goodbye we don't need her anymore <laughs> bye so we have the lunar eclipse and partners so lunar eclipses are really really big changes they signify kind of the two energies coming together and because it's lunar because it's the moon it's showing me that you guys are really learning to let go of all these emotions that no longer serve you and you're actually connecting to those emotions what is it that i need what it is what is it that i am lacking in my life right now what can i do to bring about this change and the ten of wands is, is showing me that you guys are really accessing a lot of your subconscious right now and you're really drawing out all that old energy that no longer needs to be there the partner's energy is obviously about partnerships. So if you guys are really going through um, a kind of rough patch in your life right now in terms of your love life or your partnerships, I feel like things are starting to, it's almost, I'm hearing mold and shift. So it's almost like you're, needing, you're, you're molding. So your life is molding around you and you're starting to manifest newness, newness. And I feel like for those who are single, it could be a start of a partnership this week or meeting somebody who really is your babe. I'm hearing your babe, and I don't say that often, so <laughs> that's not a word that I would normally say, so I love that. Okay, so we have Taurus as well, so your person could be a Taurus, you could be a Taurus. This is definitely a more stable energy, so you guys are coming into a much more stable way of thinking about your love life. How you see your love life is really, really shifting for you, and your partnerships are becoming much more stable, much more even, and you're able to really like just access that and just be who you are and just really come into that energy okay we also have leo so we've got a lot of fixed sign energy going on so you could have leo we then have jupiter so massive amounts of expansion guys you guys are really rewriting your love life so if you guys have been single for quite a long time like get ready because this is some really big stuff going on oh wow that that flew Okay, so we also have the fourth house. So definitely learning stability. Number four is all about stability. It's about those foundations that never break. So I feel like for you guys, this is you in your power. You're really learning to speak about who you are and you're not backing down about anything. You're really learning to be like, no, this is my path. I'm going to stick to it. I'm going to do whatever is best for me. I'm not going to listen to anyone else or anyone's views or anything like that. I'm just, I'm just want to be myself. Okay, let's get... Another card. Let's see what else wants to come through. I feel like we need one more card. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so underneath we have Uranus. So yeah, big expansions. This is like a really big life lesson you guys are learning. 
So we have Terror, we have Journeys, we have the Self, and we have Society. We have a lot of cards here. So Terror. Okay, so she is all about the expansion of the feminine uh, abundance, and it's just creating that really big energy. And it's the feminine as well, and the Venus as well, I feel like, is this kind of representing here. And this is also number five. So if you guys are like if five comes up for you a lot that's a really big sign and number two and also number seven as well so you guys are going to probably meet somebody through some sort of group or through a friend and because you've been working on yourself there's definitely a new journey that's coming towards you okay and this society here is showing me that you might be meeting some new friends as well it also i feel like you might get i'm hearing get hit up on instagram i feel like a lot of you guys are young who are watching this pile because i'm getting a lot of like slang <laughs> that i don't normally say so i feel like for you guys your your journey is going to start to shift okay i feel like the way you see yourself is shifting and you're starting to see yourself as just i feel like everything just it feels easier everything feels much more easier and you're able to really expand this energy and come into your own and really not see yourself as somebody who's like the victim you are just like an empowered freaking woman or man and you are just really in your own energy and exploring things like you're doing you're doing a little bit of exploring this week so this could be like literally like exploring like new territory or it could just be that you are trying something new okay so that is your pile guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this reading if you like it set up please let me know if you don't like it tell me as well give me some constructive criticism um but also for you guys i'm not going to keep this set up all the time but this is just something i like doing i love being near my window still i love being near my window so if you guys really enjoy this reading then please let me know thank you so much for being here all my private readings are down below thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you soon bye